Hey there, I'm Howard here from Arculus to help explain some buzzwords related to crypto security. I want to talk about self-custody and taking true ownership of your cryptocurrency because we're diving in right now. Normally, when you buy something, whatever it is, you take possession of it, meaning you own whatever it is that you just bought. It's yours, belongs to you, and it is in your possession or under your control. You might assume the same for your crypto and rightfully so. I mean, you can see the Bitcoin that you bought right there in your wallet on the exchange and using Bitcoin in that account, you can sell and swap other cryptocurrencies as you wish, right? Well, it's, uh, it's more complicated than that and that's why I'm here. So here's the thing. The Bitcoin isn't actually stored in your account on the exchange. It's stored on the blockchain. And I hate to break it to you, but that's not truly yours in the way you might think. When you make a transaction, the crypto exchange is facilitating that transaction for you on your behalf. You're simply able to view it. Now, I'm going to talk to you about two factors that explain crypto ownership. One being access to blockchain-based assets and two, the use of financial intermediary. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the heck does it actually mean to own crypto? In the crypto world, true ownership is defined by access and control. And it all starts with access. The unique combination of your private keys and your public wallet address is what gives you access and therefore the ability to manage and trade crypto. Wallet addresses are like your email address. Anyone can send you an email if they have your email address. So in the same way, as soon as someone sends you something to your wallet address, it's encrypted using a public key, only allowing the owner of that wallet address to have access. Your private keys are the equivalent of your password. Private keys can be generated and stored in two ways, either offline on separate devices from a wallet provider server system, a cold storage solution like Arculus, or they're stored on a wallet provider server so that the provider can transact on the blockchain on your behalf, also called a hot wallet. And this is where the question of ownership comes into play. These two types of private key storage wallets are called non-custodial or self-custodial wallets and custodial or hosted wallets. So let's talk about a few terms you might not have heard about in this context. Self-custody and control. Self-custody is all about control. When your private keys are generated and stored away from the wallet provider system, those private keys are known to and only accessible to you. Self-custody wallets are designed to keep you in control of your private keys without the need of an institutional intermediary or middle person. You are in control. True crypto ownership means maintaining self-custody so that you have 24-7 access to your funds and control of your private keys. Without self-custody and a cold storage wallet, you risk losing everything. Yes, you heard me. I said it. Everything. So let's explore those risks you face. Check it out. Risk number one, the dangers of partial custody through crypto exchanges. Unlike self-custody where only you know your private keys, partial custody offers some third-party assistance in securing your private keys. The exact amount of control either party has in the event of bankruptcy or insolvency depends solely on the legal agreement between both parties. In other words, you don't have control over your funds. That's right. If you did not read the terms and conditions when creating an account on the exchange, you might have missed this. Extreme market conditions in 2022 resulted in billions of assets frozen in insolvent cryptocurrency platforms. That's not where you want your assets to be. One exchange even named the specific risk dubbing customers as unsecured creditors in the event of the company's bankruptcy. And that's definitely not something you want to be. There's little recourse for getting your assets back once they're frozen or taken possession of by a crypto platform. But with self-custody, you have ownership, access, and control over your crypto, free from volatile exchanges and partial custody issues, free from the risk of being frozen, free from being labeled an unsecure creditor. Risk number two, the risk of regulation and centralization. The NASDAQ digital asset market is also now a major target for government regulation. As nations around the world look for ways to centralize the control of a decentralized industry, you know, the opposite of what made crypto, well, crypto, these platforms face scrutiny and oversight, which can affect the assets you might keep on those platforms. And then there's risk number three, 
hacks and data breaches. It's a problem you need to protect yourself. 2.5 billion worth of digital assets were stolen or lost to data breaches and hacks as of August of 2022 alone. And that number is only going up. It's scary, but there is an option for you. Keeping your private keys offline in cold storage and out of reach of hackers is the only way to keep your assets truly safe. Cutting edge cold storage security that encrypts your private keys on a hardware device like the Arculus keycard protects your access and ensures control. Arculus makes digital asset protection and ownership secure, simple, easy, and convenient. So you can avoid all these risks. Seems like a no brainer. Our mission with the Arculus Keycard and the Arculus Wallet app is to give you the power to be the guardian of your own digital assets. It's simple. Self-custody is the only way to truly be in control and secure. Secure your crypto, secure your future with Arculus.